today's a different day because I don't have to go to work first thing this morning. I'm going in at two and gonna work till whenever we're finished, which is very rare. So I'm gonna paint this morning. I'm going to, for the first time, set up time lapse and try to do it. We'll see what happens. Here we go. My name is William and I like art. I've been doing it since COVID 2020, off and on. I um, feel like sometimes I go through a stint where I just do it a whole lot and then there's a lull and maybe not as much. I also work in another job, so I fit it in between jobs and I would love it to do it more and do it full time, but you take what you can get, right? I'm gonna set up a projector today. I do grids, lazy grids, doodle grids, whatever works for the time frame that you actually have. But I'm gonna set up a projector today and try to get the image up as fast as I can. And I have about two hours and maybe the paint and squeeze a workout in before I go to work. So we'll see what happens. So I'll just stop and talk about what I'm doing for a second. So, um, I don't fully draw everything ever because of time usually. And you'll find after you do it a couple times, you don't need that much detail. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot of detail in, but I'm not doing all the strokes. I'm just trying to get a good idea and have them enough everywhere so that I'm not guessing. Cause I am going to go to a reference photo and I suggest anyone that does this do that also. Whether you do grid or whatever it is, always know that you're gonna to go to your reference photo. So you just need enough to get yourself started. You don't wanna black out, black out. You don't wanna color in and mess up all your lines. You wanna do just enough until you start getting, you know, the, the full color in in all the areas. And then you can come back and add details. But you're always gonna go back to a reference photo I use these Maltoff, I'm not sponsored by them, big nibs, they're huge. Um, might be too big for some applications, but I use them pretty much exclusively for everything. Sometimes I'll switch to a smaller one, sometimes I use different brands, but I like these because you can refill them. Uh, a lot of art stores will carry these and carry the refills. Texas Art Supply carries them. Uh, a lot of places you can order it from, they're fantastic. Anyways, my suggestion is do just enough that you know what you're looking at and you don't have to guess. So do all your hard lines, all your major lines, all your major areas, especially if there's three dimensional stuff. Give yourself some clues. Anyways, back to the, back to the drawing. Also, I'm not, I'm not drawing perfect. Some of the lines are hard outlines. Some are just flicks. I mean, it's little techniques and stuff you'll learn. Cause it, again, about time. So I'm not paint, I'm not drawing every single line perfectly. A lot of times I'm just putting flicks and accents. Cause I know when I come back, that's exactly what I'm gonna do with the brush or I use both spray paint and uh, brush. I use all kinds of markers. There's no rules for me. It's art is art. There's purists out there, that's great, that's what you want to do. I love it, I love it all. You know, if you cut out magazine parts and glue it on there and then draw and then take physical hair off of your head and glue that, whatever your medium is, I don't actually trip out about that too much. I use markers, paint, acrylics, wall paint, Home Depot paint, that's really cheap. I use lots of spray paint, I use graffiti spray paint. I used to use Walmart spray paint and some of that stuff more, but now it's actually as much as some of the really good quality spray paint that you can get from like the one that you can change the tips out and 
And so I just get that now. I find a cheaper brand or if I buy it on sale, I always look for sales. Um, yeah, anyways, a lot of talking this morning, too much coffee. <laughs> my black markers out of ink so i went and dug through some bags and found a tiny one yes i got it um you see me every once in a while step in front of the projector to block that's just to get an idea of what i have on there it's a great idea step in front of it every once in a while block it out and look at your actual thing and see where maybe if i had you know because the thing is once you turn the projector off and it's time to paint now you want to make sure you get all the most important lines for sure. Uh, and you don't want to be guessing. Um, or do it however you want to do it. That's how I do it. But anyways, I step in front. And that's what I'm doing. If you see that I'm doing that, it looks like I'm crazy, maybe doing a little dance. I might be doing a dance, but probably stepping front to block it so that I can see how much I have on there and if I'm good. A lot of times I'm doing this under a time constraint for like a mural or a customer or something. So you know the quicker you can get that thing on the wall and get painting is really what it's about when you're painting a mural for money for someone because they want to see paint on the wall they don't want to see you sitting there drawing and blah, blah blah they're ready to see some drawing so i always tell them hey listen if you like the process and you enjoy watching start to finish have at it but if it's going to weird you out to see several layers and stages and even days or how much time you have i would just wait till the end up to you. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm stepping from blocking, making sure I got enough lines. I'm going to go back and add some black in a couple places. Uh, it's no different than if you're doing all your darks first or your shadows or whatever. I'm not going to completely do everything black, but the places where I definitely need it, the eye, some of the beak, some of the shadows, I'm going to go ahead and just put them in real fast and then let's paint. Now I'm actually going to turn it off and turn the lights on and let you see what it looks like. Uh, maybe I'll take the camera up closer too. I really don't know how to do all this. This is really my first time, so it's really awkward or kind of like, eh, eh, eh. that's what's going on inside of here. Also a bright sunny day. Don't judge me about my garage being crazy. We just moved in, okay? No, you probably if that's an excuse. Literally we just moved. Um yeah, I'm gonna turn everything off, set everything else up outside. It's nice and sunny here in Oklahoma. See it's not too much detail. It's just enough to get going. Now I can look at my reference photo and start painting. Ah.
them. It doesn't matter. You know, once you go back to your reference, you're going to know where you're supposed to at. Um, I'm using multiple different kinds of spray paint. Most of them are low pressure. Of course, a little better. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to keep going. stop now and go to work and I'll continue probably tomorrow or the next day anyways that's layer one stage one however you want to call it that's my process and I'll do a couple close-ups so you can see what the camera can't see from this angle and then maybe I'll figure out how to hold my or put my place my camera next time I don't know. So I'll need to make right there even more sweaty so I'm moving it indoors to turn fans on sorry if it's loud I'm going to start hammering out details mostly going to use acrylic paints might use some markers a little bit too I don't have any completely honed in techniques I just kind of blend in stuff try stuff it's really still a discovery phase for me so and I like that I'm not I'm not trying to be studying for somebody I'm not you can only get from point A to point B by taking the journey so you can't skip steps so anyways don't be mad at where you're at just keep going anyway yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try a couple different color techniques too to get this really almost silver purple tone here in the feathers uh, start hammering out some details here we go i'm also out of black ink so i gotta put some ink in this thing hopefully i don't squirt it all over my face and everywhere else holy holy <laughs> Thank you. 
Saturday. I'm off today. My hair is thinning. And I'm gonna paint. I moved my board over next to the house in the shade. Getting set up. And I'm gonna try to knock this bird out in a couple hours. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. hammering out some details I uh, have kids that always want to paint when I paint and that's fun so I got them set up inside sometimes I let them paint next to me that's fine I don't really mind but I'm trying to hurry up and get my video done Finally finished. I'm happy with it. It's not perfect. Never is. I don't know where to stand. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. I'll put more videos out soon enough. Thanks for watching. Leave comments if you want. Kind comments. Nah, I don't care. Put whatever you want. I'm gonna back up and show the whole picture. Thank you.